Hello, part four, my part four series on uh, qualities of a true man, woman. Spending a little bit more time on the ladies because um, I think it's very important because um, most women, most of the women in the black community uh, are raising the children you know so um, it's very important that um, us as, as black women and it's women in general of all races um, we really 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 have to be conscious of these things ladies and we have to really really um, be careful about the um, image that we're putting out there how we're presenting ourselves and how we carrying ourselves and you know th these are the things that we have to really 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 and that's why I'm putting a little bit more emphasis on um, female not being sexist but because um, it's a lot of issues there um, like I said about the dress ladies it's you know you can still look sexy and be modest in your dress. You don't have to go around, um, you know, wearing all these high dresses and skirts and, you know, um, you don't have to dress like that to be sexy, ladies. You can still be modest in your dress and be sexy. You just got to know how to do it. Just have to know how to do it. Um, that's another thing. And, um, ladies... Um, a good woman um, takes care of her home. Take care of your home. You know, meaning that you, a good woman works. She works, works for, um, if, if you have the responsibility of, you know, raising the children um, without a male head, um, it's very important that you know you you really you know focus on you know working try to do the best you can to take care of your kids and I know ladies I know it's rough I'm go, I'm doing the same thing and I know it's hard and you know and these men they need to be doing you know stepping up to the plate more and taking more responsibility but a lot of them are a lot of them are and it is what it is but when they don't step up to the plate, we got to step up to the plate. And when I say step up to the plate, I mean don't sit up, sit up expecting the, the state to just throw you a check. You know, you go down there, they send you down there to work first. In, in Michigan, you know, it's work first. Trying to, you know, help you get a job and everything. You're making every excuse in the book why you can't get a job. Because you don't want a job. You know, have some dignity about yourself. You know, that we, we got to get out of this cycle, this welfare cycle. It's a, it's a deep pit, the cycle of poverty. And it's, it's a deep pit. It, we just got to, we got to try to get ourselves out of it, ladies. Go ahead and go to work. You feel good about yourself. You know, you, you, you know your, 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 your children will look up to you. And be like, well, mom's going to work. You know, they, they're not going to want to see you go to work because they're going to want to see more of you. But at the same time, they're going to, in the long run, they're going to respect you. They see that you have those work ethics. They're, you're going to instill those work ethics in, in your children. And that's very, it's something very important for children to, to learn as early as possible is work ethic. Because we, we, we need productive adults in society. Our children are our future. So we, we need productive adults in society. Because most women are responsible for the children. We, it's, up to, it's our responsibility to show them, um, you know, not so much as we got to teach them, but we have to, we have to also show them through our actions. Because that's what a lot of times they're looking at. And, you know, you'll teach them the work ethic and how to work hard and work for what you want. Don't sit around and expect for somebody to give you something all the time. You know, get up and work. And you'll feel good about yourself. You'll have some dignity. Um, you know, and it, it might not be the job that you want. 
but keep working them until you do find something you want. You know? That's no excuse to not work. Well, I don't like that job. Well, there's no excuse not to work. I, I worked a whole lot of jobs I didn't like. A whole lot of them. But sometimes, sisters, women, ladies, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you have to do what you got to do to put food on the table, keep the rent paid, and all that. Stop looking for a man to help you. Unless than that man is, is prepared to come into your life and, 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 and respect you and put a ring on your finger and give you his last name, then that's it. That's where the, the, the train stops. Don't expect to, um, him to just be throwing you money as long as you're giving him a little something in return. Uh -uh. There's, no, there's no dignity in that, ladies. You know, it's like I said, it goes back to what I said, knowing your worth. Work for your money. Work for work for your money. Work hard for your money. And I'm um, not saying you got to work yourself to death, but work hard for your money. You know, go out and earn your money. Don't expect, don't expect a man to just give you something. And don't expect for the, the welfare system to just keep throwing you. Because, see, they're cutting that out anyway. Stop relying so much on the welfare system, you know. Because it's no good, you know. And like I said, kids will look up to you. They respect you. They'll learn. They'll learn the work ethic. And um, I I be reading in the Bible about the um, the um, uh, oh Lord, I forget um, the capable wife or something like that. And they're, and they're talking about her qualities and how she, she builds up her household. She doesn't tear it down. And that's the thing, ladies. We have to, we have to build up our household, not tear it down. A, a, a woman is a lady, a, a, a true lady, a true woman is supposed to build up her household and not tear it down. Take, you know, pay your, pay your, go out and work, pay your bills the best way you can. Now, if you need to get a little help, get a little assistance, there's nothing wrong with that. But as long as you, that's not what I'm talking about. If you need to get a little assistance in addition to that, there's nothing wrong with that. Because most likely your income will be low because you, 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 you know, you're dealing with one income. But that ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just sitting around collecting a check and not willing to get up and go to work. You know, that's, that's no good. Do, do the best you can to, to provide as much as possible for your household. Do the best you can. Just get out there and do the best you can. Because God honors that. He honors that. The Bible said a man don't work, he don't eat. Same goes for a woman. You know, you, you, it's, it, the man is not there. Yes, he should be there. You know, that goes without being saying. You know, that goes without saying. Yeah, he should be there. The man's supposed to man up and take care, help you take care of the kids and all those good things. That goes without saying. But if he's not there... It is what it is. It ain't nothing you can do about that. But that doesn't stop for the stop the children from needing clothes and food and shelter. They still need, whether he's there or not, they still need those things. So as you know, you brought them here. So it's your responsibility to step up to the plate. Man ain't stepping up to the plate. Yeah, he wrong his two left shoes and he ain't no man. But you got to woman up and step up and take your responsibility and do what you got to do the best way you can. Do, do the best that you can. And God will honor that. He see that. I, I know I've been blessed. I know God has really blessed me. Um, I've been a single mother for many years. And I've worked. And I worked. And, and God has really blessed me tremendously. You know. He, he will honor that. And he will, he will bless you. But you got to get out there. And you got to put your best foot forward. And you got to try. It ain't nothing but a failure but to try. You know, and, um, you know, keep you, take care of your home, you know, take care of your children, teach your children, ladies, you know, um, teach your children, um, discipline your children. I know it's hard doing it on your own. I know it. I'm living testimony. But like I said, do the best you can. That's the part of being a woman, you know, is just do the best you can with your children. Try to instill good values in them. Don't sit around and talk about people around them because guess what? They go to school and they do that. Stop sitting around talking about people like a dog and everything around your children. 
because your children emulate that. They see you doing it, then they're gonna what they're gonna do is go to school and do the same thing. And that's they call that bullying now, and and that and you will be held accountable for that because they're starting to hold the parents accountable for that. So you gotta be careful what you're saying around your kids. You gotta be careful, you know, um, what you're doing. It's still good values in your children, and and don't have these different men around your kids, ladies. I can't express this more. Stop having different men around your kids. It ain't good to have different people around your kids, period, whether it's male or female. But stop. You got to be careful when you're a single mom. You can't just allow this anybody around your kids. Because what values does that teach your son? That, you know, it's, it's, this is acceptable for men to come and be, be with a woman like that? What values does that teach your daughters? So you, you just the way you have to conduct yourself, ladies. It's, it's a certain way you have to conduct yourself. And if you do things God's way, you will never get it wrong. You will never get it wrong. And it's, it's, we have to be so careful because our children are our future. And however we raise them and bring them up, they will put out there into the world. So this is very important, ladies, that we just, we just you know, our, our children is our future. And if we love our children, we're going to try to provide for our children in every way that we can. We're going to try to uh, help them spiritually, emotionally, and all the things that we can do to help them to become good, productive citizens. That's, that's the case. You know, yeah, the man is not there, and he should be. But because it, if he's not then that means you got to step up to the plate. We have to step up to the plate and we have to try to do the best we can to do what's right by our children. And God will respect that and he will honor that. Okay. Sweet June 2010.